Coffee with Crane Logistics Podcast. I'm Joseph Patrick. Many professionals in logistics are familiar with global trade compliance, whose job it is to keep an eye on market manipulations while ensuring laws are being enforced. Of course, this being a government-adjacent body, there's a tremendous number of forms and filings to keep up with. So, in today's episode, we'll discuss more about these filings, why they're so important, and the penalties for not following procedure. But first, please, subscribe to Coffee with Crane on your favorite podcast player, and follow Crane Worldwide Logistics on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, X, and Instagram. So in this episode, we'll be discussing global security filings, and to tell us more about this is a new guest to the show. Please help me welcome Crane Worldwide Logistics Trade Compliance Manager, Noelle Huang. Welcome to Coffee with Crane, Noelle. Thank you for having me here today, Joseph. And thanks so much for being here, Noelle. Uh, so global security filings, can you give us a broad overview of today's topic? Of course, Joseph. As you just stated, global security filings are sets of data and information for people in customs administrations. They use these to help mitigate cargo risk before loading or before the arrival of shipments. Things like AMS, ISF, EU ICS2, Japan AFR, and also the Canada E-Manifest. Can you expound on a few of these for us so that we can get a better understanding of these forms? Absolutely. So, if you have ocean shipment enter into or transit through U.S., it's required to file an advanced manifest system, also called AMS, and the importer security filing, the ISF. If you have air shipment import into or transit through EU, and will require import control system, the ICS2, Canada will require you manifest as so on. I see. So. Overall, I guess these filings are mostly for security purposes and reducing cargo risks. Is that right? Well, there are many important reasons we don't want certain goods exported from or imported into the United States. Things we need to keep in consideration are, of course, geopolitical concerns, intellectual property laws, human rights issues, and terrorism. And these filings help keep all of these in accordance with the most up-to-date laws for ocean freight and for air freight. The general requirement for ocean shipment is to perform the filings 24 hours before loading onto a mother vessel at a foreign port. And for air shipments, it will be four hours before arrival at the first airport of the destination countries. What happens if these documents are not filed in a timely and correct manner? I would say that when responsible parties fail to submit the pre low or pre-arrival information relating to the cargo or conveyance. This is what we call non-compliant. So have all of these ducks in a row well before the shipping process begins. No filings, no cargo, and or a financial penalty. Well, that should be enough to encourage correct and timely paperwork. Uh, you brought up Canada. Can you explain the Canada one to us? I want to emphasize the Canada you manifest with you today. The Advanced Cargo Information, also called the ACI, e-manifest. It's a mandatory Canadian Border Service Agency security protocol. So keep in mind, the e-manifest filing is mandatory for all modes of transportation arriving to Canada. Canada e-manifest was made mandatory back in January of 2022 okay. and has been enforced with aggressive penalty ever since. I cannot stress enough how important it is for the responsible party to perform the e-manifest filings in time per the requirement. I'm sure people want to avoid these penalties. Noel, where can they go to learn some more about this? I would recommend they go to www.com and under the service tab, select Compliance, where they can learn more about how we can help. We take security seriously here at Crate, so be sure to ask your local rep for more information regarding local compliance. Wonderful. I've really learned a lot here today, Noel. Before we wrap things up, did you have anything else you want to share with us? Just one more thought, Joseph. As a compliance-minded company, Crate Worldwide Logistics' number one priority is cargo security. So if our listeners have questions, please do not hesitate to contact our global trade compliance team. We are always here to help. Noel, thanks for everything today. And thank you, dear listener, for joining us once again in the Crane Cafe. Fly on over to craneww.com and look through our Industry Insights page. Here, you'll have free access to all the latest logistics news that's fit to print. And while you're there, go ahead and sign up for our newsletter to see what you need to know to get things moving the Crane way. So, until next time, I'll have a hot cup waiting right here for you, right here on the next episode of Coffee with Cray. Goodbye now. Mm-hmm.